Continuing coverage, GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore refusing to step down despite numerous calls by lawmakers and even an ultimatum from a Fox News host. CBS 42 News report Alex Finney live with more on Moore's refusal and what he is saying about it now. Alex. All right, good morning to you, Art. Well, when all of this first came out about Roy Moore at the end of last week, Fox News host Sean Hannity asked him the question, have you ever dated teenage girls? Moore's response at the time was, quote, not generally, no. Well, yesterday on his show, the Fox News host said that at this point, Moore needs to remove any sort of doubt. And that lines up with what lawmakers have been saying, which is, in fact, if any of these allegations are even just slightly true, Moore needs to back out of this race. But Moore is saying, and he has been standing by these claims all along, denying every accusation that has been brought forth against him by the five women who have claimed sexual assault. Now, last night, he was at a church in Jackson, Church Revival. That's where Moore got a standing ovation from the congregation uh, that was there to support him and welcome him. He actually touted that um, his experience and his belief in Alabama, the good people of Alabama, will hopefully carry him through. He is calling this whole thing just a witch hunt that is extremely distracting for, deserve, for voters at this time time and he really just want to folk wants to focus on the issues that are ahead. I'm now facing allegations and that's all the press want to talk about. But I want to talk about the issues. I want to talk about where this country's going. All right, polls are showing that the gap between Democratic candidate Doug Jones and Moore is closing. It depends on which poll you look at. But one thing that our political analyst Steve Flowers has said is that Alabamians are really not fond of outsiders coming in the way and trying to influence their election. We actually saw that during the primary between Roy Moore and Senator uh, Luther Strange. Now, election is December 12th. And as a matter of fact, Moore just fired off a tweet yesterday saying, quote, the good people of Alabama, not the Washington Washington elite who wallow in the swamp will decide this election. Hashtag ditch Mitch. Now that hashtag in reference to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and other lawmakers that are calling for him to back out. We of course will see how all of this will unfold over the next few days and coming weeks as we look forward to that December 12th election. Coming to you live from Hoover this morning, Alex Finney, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Alex, thanks a lot. This morning we are also hearing from a former Gaston Mall employee. Now he says he was told to be on the lookout for more decades ago. Greg Lagat says he worked at a record store inside the mall in the early 1980s. He says his manager told him to alert security if he saw more in the mall. Lagat says other mall employees later told him it was because more allegedly bothered some young girls. He recalled the same conversation with his former boss during an interview with a reporter from the New Yorker. And I said, why is Roy Moore banned? And the police officer, being a police officer, did not tell me. But uh, all he said was, if you see any of these people, let me know. I'll take care of them. He'd, and he said that about Roy Moore as well. But he, didn't want, he wanted us to let him handle all of them. Now, you may remember one of the accusers told the Washington Post she worked at the Gaston Mall when Moore first approached her as a teenager. Now, Legat says ever since he was quoted, he's received communications on Facebook that he perceives as threatening. He says he's reported those concerns to authorities.